Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. DJ, 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 Double J. Pipe up, fool. All right, all right, everybody. What's going on? What's going on? Lockout men back again with another podcast. Welcome to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. I am your host, Lockout Men. And yes, I am back with another podcast interview for you guys. Now, not much is known on this uh, particular young lady. I just, uh, I ran up into her in the uh, Facebook, in the Facebook group. Uh, she made a Facebook post, which I'm looking at right now, which garnered a lot of attention. Lots of attention. As a matter of fact, as we speak right now, it has about 150 comments on here some good some bad some congratulatory some smart you know what i'm saying but i got her on today right now so i would like to welcome to the show hold on right quick gotta get everything together over here i'd like to welcome to the show miss nikki lynn <laughs> hold on still gotta set everything up damn it <laughs> miss nikki lynn to the show How you doing tonight? Fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So where where are we at in where are we at in the part of the world? Where am I at right now? Yeah. Well, what 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 uh state you're in or highway or I'm in Louis I'm in Louisiana, about to get on I ten E. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So Miss Lynn. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Akron, Ohio, originally, and I was a master cosmetologist. I am still a master cosmetologist, but I got tired of doing hair. Um, I've been doing it since I've been five years old, and, you know, black people are trying to get the hookup, so I ain't got time for that. I just was like, you know what, I'm going to go out here and make some money. And I always wanted to drive trucks, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So back. So so back then, and act. You still, you still live up in Akron, or or you 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 move somewhere else. No, actually, actually, I really don't reside anywhere. I reside in my truck because um I decided just to go on a venture with just me and my son, and that's what I do. Oh, okay. Okay. So you uh so how, how long before before we get in before we get into your in into your trucking. So you just uh so you decided just to pack up everything and just go on a limb and just go out in the world right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I went through a bad divorce, so I just was like, Yeah, it's time for me to get up out of here. Do what I've been wanting to do. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So you you just literally got tired of doing hair. I mean, I, I see a lot of females that's that, that got like Facebooks and 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 What's that Instagram of all the hairstyles that they done, and they they pretty set in doing that. You you got tired of it. What what happened? What 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 was that breaking point for you on on the hair? Oh, on the, the hair breaking business? point. Let's 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 think here. The breaking point was um, I was working in the shop in Evolution ATL, and um. Basically, it was like a couple weeks in a row where nobody came into the shop. So basically, if you nobody come into the shop, you don't get no money. So I'm like, well, I'm t- trying to tell the owner of the shop, like, look, nobody's coming into the shop. Let's try commission. He told me, no, we can't do commission because I don't trust the fact that you're going to give me my money. Even though I was at the shop and I was like the head stylist and all of that stuff. And he like trust so-called quote unquote trusted me. He said no. So I was like, oh, okay, well, there's nobody coming in here, but he still wanted his $200 a week. So I was like, where am I supposed to get it from? The tree? I'm confused. So, yeah, that's how I was like, you know, that's a breaking point for me because at the end of the day, 
you know, people really, they still got lives. And you can't go off of, well, I'm going to come, I'm going to come do this, and I'm going to come do that, and you never come. You never come get your hair done. You know what? Oh, I can't. You, you know what? I You know, I see, I, I see, and I experience uh, uh, of people, you know, just, they set up they set up a time with you they set up a uh they set up an appointment with you and then all of a sudden when it comes time to to get done they always seems to come up with some type of excuse like my money didn't come uh uh something came up my dog died yep. and stuff like yep. that so which <laughs> makes which makes it kind of hard for you guys but on the flip side of that, you you was working in a in a in a salon that people wasn't coming. But is it up to you guys to generate your own clientele? Not if this not if the salon owner wants you at the shop twenty four or seven. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you want me at the shop, then how can I advertise? How can I go out there and commute and um converse with people back and forth? You know what I'm saying? How can you do that? You can't. If you want me here, just in case a walk-in comes in, comes on comes in the uh, shop, it's impossible. Okay, okay. So, if that's the case, then if he wanted you to do that, then why you guys didn't why why you guys didn't make a contract of you working for him? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like he wants you to it work. It definitely sounds like that. Yeah. It definitely sounds like that. And it definitely, I had to put him in his place and let him know, like, I don't work for you. I'm a master cosmetologist. I pay for my own license. And basically, I'm an independent contractor. That's okay. You know, that's just what it is. So you still. But um, he, I wasn't signing a contract with him because they try to lock you into a shop for like a year or so because there's so many salons in Atlanta. It's ridiculous. It's so many hair. It's a hair store on every corner, you know. So it's it's like um, they if they get a good stylist in there, they want to try to lock you into a contract. But you're smart if you don't sign the contract. If you say no, because if this shop ain't jumping, I'm going to another one. You know what I'm saying? So why, you know, Atlanta is a hot spot for for just about everybody. I mean, everybody and their mama up in Ohio, literally moved down south like if it's not north carolina it's not if it's not north carolina it's south carolina and definitely atlanta why is atlanta yep. why why is atlanta such such a breeding breeding ground for you guys to go down there well honestly it's because it's more you want to be honest yes. it's honestly because <laughs> It's more black people down there, and believe it or not, people think it's the the South is more racist than the North, and actually it isn't. So people get away. It's just like back in the day when the, the Southerners moved North, but now it's like the Northerners are moving South for one because of warmer climates, for two better jobs, and for three because it's more black unity. It's more it's more Southern hospitality. Of North people are rude. In case you haven't noticed, you're a trucker, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you, 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 you know. You, you, you kind of right. I mean, especially what's going on right now, uh, the the ill shit that's going on up in uh, Chicago. Um, mm-hmm. You know, is 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 crazy. But there's there's some ill shit that's that's going down uh, down in Atlanta too. But. But uh, but yeah, all right. So you decided to uh, you you decided to say bump it. What was what was the what was the magnet that brought you to trucking? Okay, the magnet that brought me to trucking is um, it's something that I always wanted to do, but I had a, a son, so I you know I always was like, well, I'm gonna wait till he gets older because I didn't want to leave him with anyone while I was going to school or anything like that. But now he's 18, so. He rides with me. He helps me unload the trailers, and you know it. It just was. I I just had to get out of. It. I just had to get out of the housewife, you know, <laughs> whole you know mentality. I just like you know I'm about to go out here and be independent and work my ass off and make this money. 
period. All right. So let me back up there a little bit. You say your son is how old? 18. Okay. So he decided to. You must think I'm young. He did. Wait, wait, wait. I, I was. I, I'll get around to you. I'll get around to your age in a minute. But I'm. I'm kind of. I'm kind of mystified that a 18 year old would want to come over the road with his mom and be subjected to be in the truck all this time. I mean, you know, an 18 year old would be like, "Yo, I'm ready to do my shit." Like, you know what I'm saying? But. He decided to why why not why why he didn't just go for his CDLs as well he could have he could have he he, he instead um, of, to my understanding to, well to my under, well okay let's speak on the son thing okay the son thing mm-hmm. my son uh was in job corps he got he got kicked out because he got caught doing something he shouldn't have been doing with a girl okay and well okay. I wouldn't say shouldn't be doing but he got caught doing something with a girl okay. and they put him out. So, um, you know, basically, he he didn't have a choice but to come with me. So now you got to work on the truck with your mama until you're eligible to go back to job corps in December. Okay. So as of right now, I'm teaching him the life lessons of, hey, you got to work your ass off. You don't do what you're supposed to do, you know? Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. That's that's understandable. That's, that's, That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, bring his butt on, get him uh, get him some life lessons and stuff like that. Okay, so the second part, why not have him to why not have him to go to trucking school? Because you can go to trucking school. Um, don't at you have 18. to be twenty one to get your seat stuff? No, no, you have to be twenty one to go interstate. You don't have to be twenty one to be interstate. Inter intrastate. No, interstate, you need to be twenty one. Intrastate. You can be eighteen. He just couldn't leave the. He couldn't leave the. He couldn't leave the state until he's twenty one. So he could still. He still could have got his CDLs and maybe got a got you know got like a local job. Which don't let nobody tell you different. Getting a local job is is easy. You really don't need to have uh, the years or the experience. Some. Some local companies will bring uh will bring an experienced first time CDL holder in and let them work. So that's something to think well, about. Honestly, he's not like me. He's not, you know, he's not like me. He doesn't want to drive trucks. He wants to go to the military. He's not like I, I, I would say I'm more of a I, I do I do um guide things a lot of times. Like um <laughs> I play women's football. Mm-hmm. I um, drive trucks. I like to wrestle. I like to fight. You know, it's just a lot of stuff that I do like boys. So I don't. He's not. He's not like me. Oh, okay. He like he want. He's into computers and animation and stuff like that. I'm not into that stuff. Oh, okay. He sounds like my son. I, you know, instead of giving my son the basketball, I gave him a, I gave him a DSLR camera, and five years later, he's a. He's a photographer. He's a college graduate in the arts. So, you know, he could pretty much do almost anything. <laughs> All right. So. Which is, a, which is a great thing, you know. That's a great yeah. thing. All right. So so you in the truck. How, how long you been driving? Five months. All right. So within that. So within that five months, you're like super duper brand new to the to the game. I'm going to assume. Yep. I, I'm. I would. How did you go about getting your license? Did you go to school, or did you, or did you go through the company you're with to get your license? I went through Tampa Truck Driving School, and they pre-hired me. U.S. Express pre-hired me through Tampa Truck Driving School. All right. So U.S. Express paid for the license, or no? No, uh, they they front the money basically. They front the money. Yeah, they. So pay. you basically you go to school. They, yeah. It, so basically, yo, you they pay you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Once you start getting into the truck and all of that stuff, they don't pay you nothing. So that's why I decided to do dedicated because I'm like, look, 
I got to make more money because this is, like, ridiculous. But I'm like, you know, I'm going to earn my stripes, <laughs> keep my head up, and keep it moving. All right, so... So I know I know you asked me what got me into trucking as well, and honestly, it's because I was homeless out here too, and I just was like, "Look, this is gonna be my house. This is gonna be what I do. This is how I'm gonna make my money. This is how I'm gonna stack, and I'll never be in that predicament again." Well, you know so what? That's the honest to God truth too. Now, now you know what? I hey, I'm I'm not gonna knock your hustle. You know what I'm saying? I I, I definitely I definitely don't knock a person's hustle. I mean, you you do what you you do what you got to do. You do what you got to do sometimes. But let's say for a person like me, I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, you know, the company yeah. the company you work for is the company I worked for. So, I had to learn the mm-hmm. hard way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So let's say if I would have known, if I would have known now what I known then, would I made the same choice? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) No. No. I wouldn't have made, no. I I wouldn't have made that choice. But I'm not going to hate on them because of the fact that they did give me my experience for the two years that I was with them. and, And I was able to move on to bigger and better things. See, the thing the the thing right. that the thing that caught my eye, the thing that caught my eye with you when you po- when you posted in the in the in the in the Facebook group is that you're not alone. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Every mm-hmm. new every new driver posts that pretty shiny truck. And it doesn't necessarily has to be from the company that you work for. You know, everybody else posts a little shiny new truck and uh, from Snyder, uh, Swift, uh, uh, CR, CRST. I won't post Swift. You but see what okay. I'm saying? So everybody post, yeah. a, post a nice little shiny new truck and say, hey. I, you know, I'm a truck driver now, and this is what I'm going to do. And then, of course, you got a gang of people that comes up in there and 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 give you comments like U.S. Express is trash, which is true. Uh, uh, this comment right here is the one comment, especially the one that you was going back and forth with, with the one guy that he was like, yeah, I could say a lot of things about this new driver and her new truck, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. And, so, and then the last comment I said, well, then you should have just kept your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, so yeah. Real. So basically what I was coming in, what I was coming in and when I said my comment, I was like, yo, new drivers is like, and that's, that's what new drivers is like. I mean, it's nothing. It's it's not a. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a shot to you. It wasn't a shots fired to you. It was just saying that. It was just saying that every new driver comes into the group. Not this particular group, but every new driver comes into the group saying the same thing. And us veteran drivers is saying, "All right, it's it's it's." It, it's just to sit back and relax and watch, you know what I'm saying. So, just be, you know, just yeah. just just be careful. My my advice to you is, you know, you being a new driver, you being a new driver with a new company, and just not, you know, this is not a shot to to U.S. Express, but just be really careful with U.S. Express because U.S. Express could turn around and say all the things that you want to hear they want to tell you all the nice things that you got you got a 2020 truck you got this you got that but as soon as as soon as that uh that uh that eve camera goes off or you make a u-turn because i did i did a video with the young lady that got fired for just doing a u-turn uh you do a u-turn or you do anything that's that's considered risk you can best damn believe u.s express going to get rid of you just like that 
with with no with no crimes. So my advice is just just be real, real careful with them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I was kind of trust me. That's my number one thing. Honestly, I'm the I'm probably the safest driver you'll ever meet. <laughs> but uh, don't but say the, don't the, say the that because don't say that, that, that don't say that. You can trust me out out here on the road. Believe me, and mm -hmm. I'm 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 being like super super serious right now. You could be the safest. You you could be the safest driver on the road. But that driver that's driving next to you is not. You see what I'm saying? You better say it. I already know. So, so yeah, yeah. So five. I watch them. You them 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 doubles. I watch them triples and doubles. No <laughs> damn. All right. And they can't control that in trailer. But no, seriously though, I know what you're saying. Be careful with the with the U.S. Express. I understand that whole part. I understand. I was just excited they gave me a 2021 truck and nobody else got one. That's, that's what I was happy about. Uh, but everybody just like was like, ah, like all down my throat. I'm like, okay, damn. I don't care. <laughs> sometimes. I don't. Sometimes. I you don't. Just, that, you know, that's just how the internet is, man. I mean, the internet, the, the internet could be, the, the internet could be sometimes soft, and then they could just, and the internet could just be downright be, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some of these. But like, the good thing is, I throw punches right along with your ass. I don't care. Like I said, you you wanna you wanna throw you wanna throw blows? I'm gonna throw them right back. Like right here, uh, the one comment says, "Right, company think they slick when they say they're gonna give you a 2020 or a new year truck. All of a sudden, you pay your pay drop because." You hold on. I say your pay drop because now that money that you're getting is split three ways: you, the company, and the truck. So he pretty much says, keep mm -hmm. your, he says, keep your eye on the checks. So, so yeah, so yeah, five years. Uh, I mean, five years. I'm five years. So five months in. Uh, but before you went dedicated, you, I, well, you was over the road and you wasn't, you, you wasn't, the checks wasn't looking right. Oh my God. Let me tell you. Oh. Now that was the most irritating shit ever because, okay. Um, after training, I made more money in training than I did when I first got on the highway mm -hmm. because I had this fleet manager named Samantha and she was a white lady and she was, um, she was kind of rude to me, and I had to let her know, like, look, we're we're both, first of all, we're coworkers. You're not my manager. You're not my boss. You don't sign my check. That's number one. Number two is she kept giving me late trips. So maybe an LP driver or somebody like that would, because they're allowed to deny the trips or, you know, decline the trips or whatever like that. And when they do that, then it makes the low late because they already put it on somebody, you know. And, and so basically they kept, she kept giving me late loads that were out and bum fuck too. And I'm like, wait, where, okay, so when am I supposed to wash my ass? That's my question to you. I'm a female. So she was like, oh, that's not my problem. Mm. And I was like, well, then put me on the phone whose fucking problem it is then. So long story commercial, um, you know, she kept giving me bull, bull, bull crap uh, runs. And I was bringing home one seventy seven, three hundred dollars. Like I'm like, what is this? So finally, I said, you know what? I don't like her. Put, give me another fleet manager. So they gave me this black guy named Clarence, which he was cool dot com. And I'm kind of saying he's not my fleet manager no more, but I got new fleet managers and they cool or whatever. Except for Greg, I think he's slow. But you know, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just. I don't know. It's, it's better pay when you do dedicated, but you got to do more work. You got to do a lot, a lot more work, which I don't mind because I was getting fat behind the wheel and I don't like getting fat. Now, you know, now, now, you know, the dedicated that you're on, uh, it, it must be a dollar account, right? Yeah. Family dollar. Family dollars. So they, so that's one of the, mm -hmm. that's, that's one of the, that's one of the tropes that they was pushing on us when we came, when we came in five years ago. Hey, you know, you can make about 1500, you can make about 1300 and all like that, but they neglect to tell you 
that you have to put in the work. Now, lucky for you, you have your son with you. So that makes that mm-hmm. that makes the that makes the unload a lot better. Do you do you pay your son yes. a little? Do you, do you give your son a salary to uh, help you out? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So so from you say five months. So how long that you was actually over the road before you started? the uh, dollar account five months i just started this was my first load today unloading by myself oh, okay 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 how was now you now you had to be trained of course you went out with a you went out with a trainer what was what was your experience for like? one day for what wait i'm talking about when you got out of school like when you got out of school and oh you when got, i got out of school yeah. i was in the trainer for five weeks yeah. How, what was what was the experience with uh with the trainer? Oh God. Okay, so I think that if you're in it if you're in it to train somebody to really teach them, then cool. But if you're in it for just the money, then you shouldn't do it. So let me you shouldn't get, do it at all. So and I think that, that my trainer was in it for the money. Honestly. A, a lot of a, a lot of trainer and I'm five years deep into the game and I hear, I, I keep hearing the exact same thing. So I, I really do believe that U S express really should buckle down on their, on their picks on who they want, want to, uh, for training. Training. Yeah. Because it sounds, because as, uh, it, I will say this, mm-hmm. I'll say this. She taught me nothing. Pretty much. I, I drove, and I, I uh, learned how to back by myself. Honestly, this Asian guy on the road, he said something to me because he saw that I was having problems backing up. And he was like, you knew, aren't you? And I said, yes. And then he was like, let me show you how to back up. Now, I was kind of skeptical. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Because he asked me to get in his truck. And so I, so I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Show me, show me how to do it in my truck. So mm-hmm. he showed me how to do it. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, I know how to back my ass off. My line side, it's my side, it don't matter. I can I can back up really well. But <laughs> she didn't teach me none of that. She always used to say, well, what are, you, what are you trying to do? What are you looking for? I don't know what you're trying to do. And I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? You know? Mm. Um, even when it came down to the paperwork, I had to learn that on my own as well. You know, and, and that, that irritated me because you know, sometimes I would turn it in uh, incorrect or, you know, not putting my times in there so I can get detention pay. You know, and, and I wasn't taught that. So it's, everything that I've learned, I pretty much learned by myself or honestly, a guy on the road has tra- showed me. Hmm. Oh. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. The guys, guys are very nice when it comes to women truck drivers. They really will help you. Hmm. So your so your time with the with with this female trainer wasn't all that hot. Was did you finish out with her or did you or did you have to get another trainer to to finish you out? I finished out with her because um well she wanted me to get another trainer because I cussed her out. You know I, I have a mouth on me and I can back it up too, but that comes from being you know you have to be that way if you out here in these streets. So. Basically, um, she she called the the fleet uh, manager or whatever and told them that the training coordinator and she told them that you know um, she couldn't deal with me this that, and the other. So the training coordinator called me and asked me what was going on, and I said nothing. What's going on? And it was like, well, she's saying that you know you probably need a new um, trainer and this that, and the other. I said no. What she needs to do is go lay down in the back while I drive this truck. That's what she needs to do. Cause I'm almost finished and I don't feel like waiting to be seated with another trainer. And then they was like, well, you're right. I'm like, well, I told her I was sleepy and I couldn't roll. Am I supposed to drive when I'm, you know this, am I supposed to roll when I'm sleepy? Nope. You're not supposed to, but. Okay. So, so during, so during the the end of your training, Mm -hmm. I'm listening. During the end of your training, you can choose to be super solo or you can choose to do partners. So I was like, well, since they're going to try to make me team anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do team because I want to see what it's like. I hated it. 
Because I feel like if I'm going to kill myself in this truck, I'm going to kill myself. I don't need your help. Exactly. exactly. So she drove crazy. Like the driver tech was going crazy. She over the line. She following too closely. I mean, you hear the, all the beep and the dust, the bump and the dust. And then she, I, was, I couldn't sleep. So at the end of the day, I, I was always tired when it was my turn to get behind the wheel. Tr- and this particular night, I was super duper tired. And I was like, I can't roll. I'm tired. You know, teaming. You know, teaming is 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 real tough. You know, because some people, you know, especially if they team like one drive during the day and one drive during the night and all like that, it's kind of hard to get mm-hmm. you. It's is especially if you sleeping during the day. It's kind of hard with with the constant motion of the truck. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So sometimes it probably might just be better just to do super super team or super whatever that was, you know. Y'all both. Well, dr- you, long you story it, commercial. You, yeah, go ahead. I I will only say that the only reason I chose to do team is because they was gonna try to make me do team. Mm-hmm. But since they seen how I was with a team or with my trainer, they let me go solo right out the gate. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, Nikki, mm-hmm. Nikki, man. All right. So, I, 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 I hear. I, you know what? I, I hear the grind in your voice, man. So, so definitely, I got to give you a, I got to give you a bomb drop for that. But I, I hear, I, I hear the grind mode in your voice, and I, I, I hear the, I, I hear the, 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 the independent woman in you. Um, now that you, now that you driving. And that you're doing solo and that you, you know, you're doing the uh, family dollar. What's the goal? You Do you have a, do you have a goal? What's the end game for you in, in, in trucking? You, you're going to try and retire from it. You're hmm. trying to save some money to build up something. What's, what's, what's the end game? Yeah. I'm definitely trying to save my money to build up something else. I don't want to, I wouldn't say, I don't know. Cause I like these trucks. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know if I want to stay in it. I don't know if I want to quit. I don't know if, because once I get my business started, what I want to really do, then, you know, I don't know if I want to continue to drive trucks or just do it for fun because that's, you know, what I would like to do. It's like a hobby. Okay. Okay. That's you got to have fun on your job. Yeah. Right. I'm trying to stack my dough though. For real. That's the whole point of me just paying a phone bill. And, and a food bill. That's it. All right. That's what's up. Well, shout out to uh, shout out to you and your son. Shout out to you and your <laughs> son. Definitely out there doing the damn thing. Nikki, man, I, I appreciate you coming on, taking the time and uh, hollering at me and chopping it up with me tonight, man. Nikki Lynn. <laughs> what up? This uh, dollar, uh, the dollar accounts, the dollar account that you're on. How is that? How is that set up? You you do like three stops uh, a day, two stops a day. What what is what is what is your day well, consist of? Okay, well today consisted of um, picking up my trailer. From Marianne. Well, actually, I picked up my trailer from Marianne, Florida, um, yesterday. Mm-hmm. I got all the way to Louisiana, to New Orleans, mm-hmm. and I parked by the Family Dollar. That way, I won't have to start my clock. Okay, okay. Let me so, ask- I loaded my first truck at 6.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had three appointments today, so, you know, the first one was 6.30, the next one was like 10.00. 30 and the last one was three or was it 130 it was something like that okay so, i don't know i was on time to all of them so so you actually could you could actually could knock this out before five o'clock and pretty much have the rest of the day to yourself before you have to go back and uh get grab another trailer yep Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, Nikki Lynn. What what advice? What advice do you have for uh for the new females that's gonna come out here and do the damn thing? What's what advice you got for them? Don't don't be a lie lizard. 
<laughs> I know you like this girl is crazy. <laughs> mean don't be a lot lizard, man. You're a truck driver, so of course you're not going to be a not lizard, man. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know. I ran into one. And I was like, wait a minute, Lil. You a little dot lizard on a, on a low key from U.S. Express, my nigga. How? You be waiting for them boys to say something to you. Wait a minute. I, I, how you figured out that she was a lot lizard, man? Hold on. I gotta I gotta turn this down. How, how did you? <laughs> how did you? How did you? You 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 looked at Listen. the young lady and said, "Yo, you're a lot lizard." Uh, what the hell, man? No, because. Uh, Cause you, cause you, cause you know, okay, you, you know females and you know, like sometimes females, they literally like throw themselves at guys or do something to get guys attentions or it, 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 I said, don't be a little thought lizard. That's what I said. I said what I said, you know? Uh, hey, you say what you say and you stand by, you say what you say and you stand by I mean, by be what out you here say. be about your money. Be yeah, be about your money and, and, and trust and believe that you're going to gain a whole bunch of family you've never known before because they think truckers got all this money. <laughs> trust me. So yes. watch so watch your surroundings. So watch your surroundings and watch who come in your inbox because when you didn't have nothing, they wasn't there. Now, now you drive a truck. They here. Where you come from? <laughs> you say where That's they come from. That's my only advice. That's all I'm Spe- saying. Especially if you where'd you the- come from? Spe- like I'm telling you. Especially when you in these groups, man. You got all these. You got all these dudes. You 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 post a nice little picture, and you got everybody and their mama. Well, everybody and their father coming after you in your inbox like yo baby how you doing well Give that's funny because y'all y'all hey because like y'all barking up the wrong tree because i like the same stuff y'all like oh wait a minute now. hold on oh. you, you keep, why, why you keep throwing stuff at me like i'm about to end it you keep throwing stuff at me man like whoa what the hell Hold up. Stop the presses, man. Hold on. Hold on. You you hit me with a shot fired right there, man. Like, hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Wait a minute. Stop what? the presses. Nikki Lynn. So you so so yes. how, so how long so how well you said you was you said you was the you, you got divorced uh, some time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, how how to ask this question? God damn it, man! I I can't even, I can't even. Be I was t- married to a woman. Oh, you? Yeah. Was, wait. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. You is bugging. Oh, you are okay. hilarious. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you how long you how long you two was married? If I may ask. Uh, we were together for eight years. We've been married for three. Wait, y'all was married for eight. I mean, y'all was together for eight years, married for three, and out of and you divorced. Like, like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, happened? because because she. Well, okay. You really want to know, or do you really want to? Do you uh, were trying to end it? Now, do I, you really want to know? I, I really want to know. I I really want to know. Okay, she wanted to transition to being a man, and I told her if I wanted a man, I'll have no problem getting one. I don't want it. I don't want no man. I don't want no confused female. I want to be married to a female. <laughs> Hold up, you say you say you so, ain't want no confused so, female, right? So you felt she was confused That's because she was confusing to me. Well, wait a minute, she was. Listen, listen, uh, okay. listen, listen, yes, listen, listen, yes. listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Listen. Okay. It's one thing to like what you like, but it's another thing to change who you are because you think the universe made a mistake. Okay. So I feel some type of way because, you know, you can't wait to marry me and then say, oh, I want to be a guy. Wait a minute, bitch. I don't want to be married to no guy. And I don't want to go through this. You getting shots and turning and getting beers and I'm looking at you and I don't even know who you are. There's a stranger in my house. So, yes, honey, I don't have time for that. Oh. Okay, okay. So when did you... When, yeah, so when, she wanted to transition. And then she got, you know, some support from a white chick that had a husband. And she said her, you know, she got the cheating and she got to doing all types of stuff with three different females. So the last female, I told him, you want my job, bitch, you can have it. Here's the clothes to the house. The dogs need to be fed and feed her mother as well. 
Wow. This is my job. You wanted the wife role. Here you go. Wow. Ooh, that was. Yep. That that was a hard that that was a hard, <laughs> that was a hard one right there. You you tell that bad boy like, yo, you want my job here? You can have it. Here's the keys. Go ahead. Just give me my last yeah. name back. Man. No, the code. I gave her the code. Oh, the code. I gave her the code. Yeah, you gave her the code. Well, Just I turned her the name. Stay home. The yeah. name. Stay you, home. you say you say give me my last name back, man. God damn it, man. So yeah. So so you so. How how how's how's it been? How, how do it feel being uh being being a being a lesbian trucker? Um, I guess I still feel the same. I don't know. I I, I mean, what are you trying to ask me? Like, have anybody? It's kind of hard for the dating world. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. I mean, you know, like, would yeah. Th- th- I, I would imagine that it is hard for the <laughs> dating world. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you're a female. Yeah. You, you you're, you're a beautiful female stepping out of the truck at the at the fuel station, and you got like 50 million dudes. You know, just you know, just giving you the googly eyes, and then all of a sudden you hit them off like, "Yo, I'm I'm with you, bro." <laughs> right, you know, right, I, bro. I, I, I like I, the things that you like. I, I like I like what you like, bro. And so we we gonna. You know, I, I, I can't, hey, I can't I, mess with But my with thing you. is, honestly, honestly, all my friends are masculine, it, even to the women. Everybody's masculine. I only hang with guys and, and masculine women. Oh, I don't okay. hang with feminine women or none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But we can go hunt them together. We can go to strip clubs together and stuff like that. That's fun. Oh, okay. You know? So what, so, so, Nikki, you uh, <sighs> You okay? So you 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 got a son. So obviously you you had the D in your life before. What? How how did you come to come to grips with your sexuality? Like when did you? It's when when did um, you? Okay, honestly, I started experiment, experimenting. Okay, we we can I, we can say that. I would that. say with my baby daddy. I would say my baby daddy. Okay. Because, um, I don't know. I used to work with this chick or whatever. And she just called me up one day. We used to work night shift. And she just called me up. I was like, don't you think we should fuck? And she was like a pretty girl like me. And I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> so she came and got me. We did her two one two. And then my, my bald headed ass sister told on me to my baby daddy. So my baby dad was like, well, the only way I forgive you is we have a threesome. And I said, okay. And, 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 and it just rocked on from, from there. How did he? How did he take? Yeah, it? I kept, I kept bringing hoes home. I kept, I kept doing it. I, so I how, was like, I got a new one for it. So <laughs> how, how did he? So I mean, you know, why y'all two not together? I mean, shit. I mean, that's that's like a, that's like a home run for a dude. Because honestly, but it is a home run. But honestly, it's because he didn't want to work. And I and I can't I can't rock with people that don't want nothing better for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 whoa! I can't hold I can't up, rock wait, with wait, people wait. like that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, mm-hmm. hold up. Okay, wait, okay, okay, wait. okay. He he's getting the best of both worlds. Like he got a woman mm-hmm. that likes a woman mm-hmm. that's bringing a woman home, mm-hmm. and you can get with the woman, but he don't want to. He uh, he just want to sit on his ass work. and and not do nothing. Yeah, where the yep. mo- where the money was coming from? Me. Oh, you you know what, man? You, you know what? He gotta go. I'm I'm sorry. He, <laughs> bro, you, bro, you gotta go. You you, you gotta go, bro. Uh, you gotta. Go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she's putting in she's putting in the work of bringing another female home for you. Cook, clean, take mm-hmm. care of the kid, and your ass is just yep. just sitting there on your on your narrow ass like I ain't gotta do nothing. Fuck all that, man. Get your ass up and do something, yep. bro. Oh, I babysit. I babysit. I said no, 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 no. That's not that's not gonna work because I'm I'm bringing home too much money and you're not. Do I'm buying your outfits? I'm bringing hoes home. I, I mean, come on. Well, I didn't call them hoes. I called them Scooby Snacks. <laughs> so so Scooby it's snacks. like you know you 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 gotta. You gotta get your thing together, my 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 homie. So, but the funny part is, 
you sound like the reason why I asked you who was your name because you sound like my boy Scratch Master L from Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, that's my I used dude. To go with him for that's, like, that's my G. I, yeah, that's, I used, that's my G. Scratch yeah, Master I used to L. Go with, you can ask him about. You can ask him about Nikki right now. He'll tell you about me right now. What? He know all of my stuff. What? Yeah, Scratch that's Master- my. That's my. That's. Yes. That's that's a clean yeah, that's a clean see what y'all see y'all yes. see what we talking right now you guys don't know Scratch mm-hmm. Master L is a fucking Cleveland legend now the, the the jeans and Moet I know Jean, the, what what you know about jeans I, and Moet I already what you, know what you know about already, jeans and Moet man, come on, man. I used to be at all the, the clubs with L you, when he worked for the Millennium. Oh, so all them clubs. Oh, you go back to the Millennium. I used to be the DJ Oh, my God. You went yes, back to the Millennium. With, oh, girl. Yes, God damn it, With man. Nature Boy. With Na- Nature Boy. Nature Boy got killed. Woo! Yes. You know Nature... Man, come on. Where you, you been? Might, you might know. You might know, Mom. I don't know. I've been out here in the world. Woo! The, the, all right, so but but L said the same story. L said the same thing. Like you should have told me, cause we cause we could have had fun, oh, Nikki. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you should have yeah. told me. Shit. Yeah, man. What about uh? What, L, what about uh? Baby, what about this, what about day. what about DJ Chicago? What what you know about him? I know DJ Chicago too. Man, then if you know, yeah, but if he you, ain't better than L though. If you know all the legends. If you know all the legends mm-hmm. of of the Cleveland DJs, then you you must know yeah. my cousin DJ Ryan Wolf. I might know him. I he's, will probably have to see him. He's he's the uh, he's the DJ for uh, Z1079 now. You know all the all the legends went through Z1079. <laughs> you know, if they did, yeah. if they didn't go through Z one oh seven nine, they went to they went through the 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 other one that's down that's down the channel. I forget what it is. I think it's like one oh uh ninety three. Ninety three, yep. Ninety three. Ninety three point one. One. Yes. Oh, that's man. how you know I'm from Akron, Ohio. That's mm-hmm. what's up, <laughs> man. That is what's up. Well, I yeah. am I am I I am honored to have uh to have a cleat well to have an Ohio native whoop me y'all y'all you know we we this this is history right here you know what I'm saying all the clubs right. all the downtown clubs <laughs> the downtown Cleveland clubs all the all the uh all the old school DJs uh DJ Fatty Banks Scratch Master L DJ Chicago those are those was the three top DJs well I would consider crazy d in that midst but but the three tops was scratch master l fatty banks and dj chicago i'm gonna have to give a bomb drop for everyone yep. all right yep. so <laughs> so yo so so you pretty much you 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 just pretty much left the left the dudes alone and just stuck with the female side and and just uh just cruising uh, along. honestly honestly i told and i told l and he know i said this he will be the only guy i will ever mess with oh ever. okay so if you need some if you need the d you 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 got that on speed dial <laughs> how how, how, <laughs> how how did you how now let me ask you this uh is your son with you right now yeah you mind if i ask him how he feels about your sexuality? Hold on. All right. Here, Mark, put this on. Hello. Hello. What's going on, my G? Uh, none much. All right, all right. Hey, my name is uh, Lockout Men, and right now you're on the Lockout Men podcast show. I I just have a quick question for you, man. Uh. Your your now your mom's rocks for the other you know for the other team. I just want to get you know just want to get your feelings when you found out. How how did you feel and how are you taking it right now? What's the question again? Your your mom work uh, rocks for the other team, right? She she likes women, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, how when you found out. That you know, of course, she got married for the you know she been with a woman for the last eight years and got married for the yeah. last three. How did you when you found out yeah. when you found out that your mom you know that your mom liked women? 
How did you feel at that time, and how are you feeling right now about it? Um, at the time, I, I I was just a kid, so pretty much whatever my mom was doing, I didn't really care about. Mm-hmm. I just like I was just caring that she was happy enough to just do what she needed to do, mm-hmm. and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And when I figured out that she was dating a woman, I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That was it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let me give you a bomb drop for that, bro. Because you know, some kids, you know, some <laughs> some, some kids is kind of it's it's kind of hard for a kid to to muster their their parents' uh, sexuality, and you know, it's kind of hard for them to like accept it. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you accept it, yeah. as long as you accept it, and and you're happy for your moms, that's all that matters. All right, you can let me, you can go ahead and put her yeah. back on, bro. We we about to go ahead and end it. All right. I appreciate it, man. All right. <laughs> you too. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm back. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki Lynn. Awesome conversation, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome conversation, man. Thank this, you. This is, this this is an awesome conversation, man. You you stay safe. You stay uh you stay good out there and keep being and keep doing you, man. Definitely keep doing you. I am. You know what I'm saying? All right, All guys. Right. That was uh that's Nikki Lynn, Ohio favorite, Akron, Ohio. Old old school. You know, we we went back to the we went back to the millennium. We went back to the mirage. We went back to the clubs that was that, that was rocking down in the flats, man. Who what they know? These these kids today, they don't know nothing about the flats, right? Right. Man, if y'all knew what was if y'all knew how the flats was back in the day, y'all be like, man, y'all missed out. Y'all missed out. All right, so if you guys is interested in coming on and chopping it up with me like Miss Nikki Lynn, yo, hit me up in the podcast Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up in the Instagram at LockoutMen. Make sure y'all subscribe to both channels. You can, If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe to it and share and hit that bell. If you like the video, definitely like the video. It helps. It helps. I am your humble host tonight, Lockout Men, and this is Lockout Men Podcast. I got my cousin or whoever's going to play me out. Whoever's going to play me out. And uh, we're going we're gonna to let them play me out. So enjoy the music. Who's ever going to play me out? Me and Nick uh, and Nikki Lynn, we are out of here.